Good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Today, old scare money don't make money. Billy Napier himself had another press conference, lasted about 30 minutes. Figure I'd save you guys some time, give you the shorthand version of that. He had it basically set up into two parts. His first part was his little intro, kind of gave you guys a gave us a rundown of here's where we here's where we are, here's where we're going. And then it opened up to QA. During the QA part, he kept the cards close to his chest, very political answers. Didn't give us too much, kind of just said we were what we wanted to hear, but never really gave us a direct answer. Two questions I liked. One, they asked about, hey, Georgia just won, the bigger brother right now in the SEC East. How do you feel about that? He took a minute and said, hey, look, we want to congratulate Georgia. That's awesome for them. But I got to be honest, I'm focused on what's going on in my backyard and what's happening here in my own house. And that's where we're at right now. It's great to see that they won, but I'm not really too concerned what they're doing, what's going on up there. We're going to keep our keep our eyes and locked in right here. And I love that, right? Great answer. It's what anybody should say. But again, it's they asked, he gave them an answer. The other thing they asked him was, how many people have you hired? Don't look at your notes, Billy, but how many people have you hired thus far? And he didn't give an answer. He didn't give him, give him a number. He just said, look, we're looking to hire more people. And then kind of just went on a little bit of a tangent for a few minutes. And the guy said, so you're not going to give me a number. And he just kind of laughed it off. And that's kind of how the questions went from there. They would ask a question and he would kind of deter it and just kind of keep his own direction going, which, which I like, right? I mean, kind of just... I'm not trying to say too much. I got business to handle. I got things to get done. And that leads us to that first part where he kind of gave us the direction of where he was headed and where the program is headed. So the biggest thing that I pulled away was on January 18th, that is when phase one will be initiated, which is building a foundation. And he talked about it a little bit. He talked about how, getting the players and knowing on an accountability schedule, a, a timeline schedule, time management being another one, defining it for not only the, the players, but for the coaches, and just creating a nice, stable platform, a.k.a. foundation, for the entire organization, right? It's a good starting point. The other thing you mentioned was the Gator May program. And speaking of that program, had a huge hire today with Savannah Bailey, who will now be the Senior Director of Players Relations and that new Gator May program. Another steal from Clemson. Speaking of another, back for back to Trevor Eatine. Two major steals from Clemson. Clemson's over here just floundering around right now. They're just getting... Rip underneath them left and right from the Gators right now. Um, but huge moves today. And again, the, the meeting seemed a little short. He seemed a little outside focus. And it could be due to the fact that we had five recruits land for their official visit today, which is absolutely massive. Um, but he had one quote. And it wasn't scared money don't make money because you know how we love that quote around here. I wish it would have been, but it wasn't. We're saving that for on the field, hopefully. This quote to me was huge because we've done a lot of talking about Billy as, hey, is it an A+, plus? he's done a good job, he's made some big splashes, he's made some great hires, he's doing this, he's doing that. It's a lot of talk, right? And it's some action a little bit because we've got some hires, but we haven't seen it actually. Is it going to work out? Is this all these plans going to work out? And he said, a vision without an action or a vision without action is a dream. I love that. I might get that quote kind of on a little piece of wood board right here instead of scare money don't make money vision without action is a dream so i'm glad he kind of recognized that like hey look we're doing a lot everyone's talking a lot it sounds good we're making splashes but without getting what we want which is a championship it don't mean shit and he mentioned that talking about the georgia because i love for my guys to stand on top of that 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 stadium and hold it or the stage and hold the trophy up themselves so it's good it's good to have self accountability right self-recognition that hey I know it sounds good. We're doing a lot, but none of it means shit if we ain't got action behind it. So that to me is a good sign. I like it. The guys handle himself well with this with with uh, Florida media. We're, we're a frenzy down here. We could we can be sharks at times. So it's just all good news. We're all excited. It's the honeymoon stage. We're gonna be excited. We're gonna be happy. Obviously. We have a little bit of controversy over the basketball side with Mike White. Got a video coming out about that, so make sure you stay tuned for that. That one's going to be a banger. That one isn't as happy and go lucky as these, these Gator football videos have been so far. But look, we've got time, all right? I'm not hoping for bad news, but bad news is always to, always to come. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Drop it down in the comments, your thoughts on these things. We'd love to hear about it. You guys have been all over the videos with your likes and your comments. It's great to see Gator Nation come out. Uh, and support the orange and blue. We absolutely love it here at BDE. So thanks for stopping by as always, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Sheldon. I'll see you guys.